Do you want to know how to save tons of time designing mockups for your projects? Check this tutorial. One of the most time-consuming tasks in my experience when designing sales presentations, specifically for digital products, is the mockup creation. I used to create them manually in Photoshop back in the day. I would have lots of different PSD templates of browsers and devices that would get outdated in a year because the new iPhone is out and now everybody wants their products to be displayed in a new iPhone. So when I found this next tool, which by the way is totally free, at least for now, I was so happy. Shot.so allows you to create stunning, high-resolution, very highly customizable mockups in just a few clicks. Let me show you how it works. So we go to shots.so and as you can see, it takes you straight to the workspace. No signing up, no subscribing, nothing. I can't highlight enough how much I appreciate such simple and straightforward tools. Now let's go ahead and select a screenshot or a design that we want to use for that click inside this rectangle. And I'm going to select this picture right here. Remember we were analyzing a report about Superblocks in Charlie AI? I made a screenshot of its cover and I want to create a mock-up with it to reference the source as I talk about it during my presentation. So right away, almost instantly, we get a great looking mock-up. Here on the right side, you can see a few pre-made compositions with different angles and perspectives. So you can choose the one you like the most from here, or you can manually adjust your mock-up until it looks exactly like you want it to look. To do that, you have all these different tools on the left side. This is where magic happens. So the first thing here on top is the mockup and frame switcher. Right now, mockup is selected and it means that we are adjusting the mockup itself. If we now switch to frame tools, the tools beneath it will change and it will be editing the background. We'll go back to frame toolbar later. So now let's switch back to mockup. And the very first thing we can select is the type of mockup. Here we have the screenshot, which is the simplest one. It's basically the same image that you uploaded, but with rounded corners, nice shadow and the background. To be honest, most of the presentation softwares allow you to do the same in just a few clicks. But if you're using some other tools to create your presentation, then it could be helpful even for a simple picture like that. Then you have a browser, a generic phone, desktop, some other devices. And you can also switch between categories using these buttons here on the top. Let's select the browser, for example. And you can see that it crops the image right away to adjust a new format. And also the pre-made composition will switch depending on the type of the browser. So this one could work, but for my image, which is vertical, I would prefer to work with a simple screenshot or even put it inside a tablet like this. Once we've selected the type of the mockup, we can start adjusting it using all these tools right here. So for instance, you can switch between space gray or silver, or you can adjust the shadow, moving this slider up and down manually, or using one of these pre-made settings like none, high or low. You can also adjust the position and scale. This would make this smaller and bigger within the frame. To reposition, you can also use these rectangles here or again, manually using one of these sliders, or both. Now, these are all the settings available to this mockup. Now, if we go to frame, we can adjust the background of the mockup. For instance, we can select the format. Let's say we need 16 to 9 to fill the whole slide. Then we can adjust the amount of background noise with the slider. I don't know if you can visualize it properly, but there's a lot of noise right now. Let's keep it to the minimum, just for a little texture. We can also make it transparent, put the exact HEX code or a color, or even upload an image. And here's the new feature that has just been added recently, and it's AI powered. So it automatically selects the color from your design, from the image you're uploaded, and makes background suggestions. Not only these five colors, but also a selection of 
very interesting gradients. This one is like a blurred image. You can also expand and get more. This one, for example, looks pretty great. And if you keep scrolling down, you will see a couple of other pre-made backgrounds. Again, there are solid colors and you have some simple gradients, some abstract backgrounds. And you can expand each of the selections to see more. Most of them are really nice. I will go back to the magic background suggested by AI and I think I will keep one of these because it also matches the color scheme of my presentation. It's hard to choose. I think this one. Now, if it wasn't for this beautiful suggested background, I would normally export the mockup with transparent background as a PNG and then I would place it in my slide manually. So I will download like this and I will also download it without any background, just in case. Another thing is that it looks like this tool is constantly evolving. So make sure you check the what's new section right here, which is basically a timeline with all the new features that are being implemented. As you can see, you can now save tons of time creating mockups for your projects. If you want to discover more AI-powered tools for presentations and other creative projects, check my Domestica course.